Hello! Welcome back. This is Anita Bean again with BeanDesigns.com. This is the third installment of creating a scrapbook page using the GIMP. I have version 2.4. Here is our sample page, our goal, and our creation process. In the previous two um, segments we did several things. So let's open up our sample page. We've already got our background two pages with ribbon. We've brought in our pictures and we've put on our prongs. So now let's open up our stickers to make our cluster beside our pic pictures. So let's pull in the flip flops and the sand pail and the umbrella. And they are huge. So we're going to want to scale these. So let's use our scale tool. Be sure to click on keep aspect. And let's reduce that size and apply it. And let's go to sand pail and do the same thing. And our flip flops. Now we use our move tool and move those into, into place. And it looks to me like I might have scaled them down um, smaller than I need to. Okay, I grabbed the wrong thing, so I'm going to do edit, undo, move layer. Let's grab the flip flop. Alright, let's do scale and let's, let's enlarge that flip flop just a bit. Oh, good. And let's highlight the sand pail. I just reduced them way too much there. Okay, let's do the rotate. Sand pail. That's not realistic. The sand pail wouldn't be tipped over like that, would it? Let's rotate the flip flops. I want those flip flops to be above the sand pail. So over on our layer palette, I'm going to use the arrow over on the bottom and it's going to go above and we need it to go above the umbrella also. I'm going to use my move tool and kind of move. You know what? I think I want that umbrella to be a tad bit larger. So let's highlight the umbrella over on the layers and let's make our umbrella a little bit larger. And I move the umbrella behind the sand pail and the flip flops. Okay, so we have our cluster here in the bottom left of our pictures. Let's put some text on our page. Let's highlight the very top layer in our layer palette and click on the text tool on the left or you can just push T on your keyboard. Let's choose what text we want to use. I'm going to use um, Oyster Black and I need it to be a size 250 I believe. And my color. I want my color to be this red from our background. So I'm going to click on the eyedropper tool and click the red and say OK. Then I uh, click on my t on my scrapbook page and type A and push close. So I have an A on the page. Now on the layer palette click on the prong layer once again. Uh, we want the size to be the same. We want the color to be different. I want to choose the blue. Eyedropper tool, blue I want to make it a little bit darker so that it stands out against the blue paper. Uh, click inside, a day, push close, prong layer, 
color green. Let's choose some green. Oh, for me. Let's see, close. Let's see, color. Eyedropper tool. Green. Make it just a little bit darker. Okay. Now click on the paper. The Brazos River. Close. And once again, choose the prong layer color eyedropper tool yellow. Okay. I'm going to change the font. and size now I'm going to use our move tool and we can move these around so I kind of want the Brazos River to be like that and let me click on at D kind of there and we'll put this here oh I kind of like this a day at the Brazos River. One of our final steps will be to do our journaling. We've got a title, we have the pictures, we have the elements, we have the background paper, but we need to know what went on in this day. So what went on this day? Highlight the prong red layer once again and yellow would be wonderful for our journaling. Let's use a different font um, I have a font that I like to use for my journaling and we will um, on a hot September day we went to the river and had fun with the great grandparents. And so here we have our journaling. So what we've done is we've do documented our adventure with pictures and words. So in the future, when we come across these pictures, we'll know what happened on that day. Um, a final step that I would do would be I would come along and I would label... Um, I would label who this was, um, but there you have it, the basic steps to creating a scrapbook page, title, journaling, pictures, background, ribbon, all the different parts. You want to save it at, in your layers as an XCF so that you can modify it later if you need to. You also want to save it as a JPEG and that would be the format you would need to use in order to have it printed. Whether you're going to print it on your home computer to store in, in your album or if you wanted to, to have it printed in a bound book and it would work that way also. You might want to add I'm, I'm looking at the page, you might want to add um, a shadow to your uh, letters it just depends on how you want it to look but you could add a sh you could easily add a shadow to all your letters just like we had done before on uh, other items in the page let me show you what it would look like I added a shadow to the A see it gives it some three dimension look to it well, that's the end of this scrapbook page. This is Anita Bean from BeanDesigns.com. And continue to scrapbook those pages and preserve your memories that you have for the future.